Who is responsible for the killing of a dozen people in Kuru district of Plateau State? Locals say herders are responsible, but the Herders Association says it's untrue. We'll be talking to people from both sides this morning. Now calls for restructuring of Nigeria continue. Different groups and people have different ideas of what this should look like. But this morning, an analyst will join us to discuss the kind of federalism that's right. Uh, a rattly feat for us Nigerians. And Nigeria's representative at Miss Rush Africa, Russia Beauty Pageant, steps out to the bloodstained flag of Nigeria. She's getting praise from NSAS protesters. Glad to have you join us in the studio this morning on The Breakfast. I am Annetta Felix. And I'm Justin Akabini. It's glad to have you join us. All right. So I hope you um, had a great night. Hope you're feeling good this morning. Well, some things are better left and said. <laughs> I can totally good understand. Morning, Annetta. You look beautiful as oh, always. Oh, thank you. Thank oh. you very much. And how are you? Hope you're doing good today. It's a rainy morning. It's a rainy season. Yes. Wet, Again. Wet morning in Lagos. I don't know how it is across um, Nigeria today. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, our first top trending really just takes us all the way back to 2020, October 20, mm -hmm. um, the night of the reported shooting, uh, you know, at NSAS protesters. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing Nigerians, you know, still talking about that that very day. It seems like a day that would not be forgotten and a hit in a hurry. Because remember that um, a few months ago, we saw um, Bovi, one of Nigeria's finest comedians, yes, uh, step out to the head is awards with a, you know, a, a Lusting, shirt, yeah. a blot, a shirt That's, that is designed in yeah, a bloodstained flag. Last year. Exactly. So now um, there's a there's a lady. She's representing Nigeria yes. at the Miss Africa Russia Beauty Pageant. Yes. Her name is Udecha Maka. Uh, she stepped out at that uh, pageant uh, with a bloodstained Nigerian flag, yes, and did. this just tried to make a statement to say, remember what happened in Nigeria. It cannot be forgotten exactly. in a hurry. Yes, indeed, uh, Nigerians are still uh, bothered about, uh, you know, the issues uh, that are plaguing the country, the insecurity, the issues of our policing and all of that. So uh, I, it was really something when I uh, read um, online about uh, how she stepped out to the bloodstained Nigerian flag. Or some people are saying that, uh, uh, is she trying to, you know, dis, uh, or disrespect uh, the symbolism of Nigeria, that's the, the green, white, green flag, okay. or was she just trying to remind Nigerians that, um, their struggles and that whatever they came out to do uh, December, October last year uh, cannot just be forgotten in a hurry. I totally agree. And this also reminds me of um, a very popular pageant, uh, pageantry, um, Miss Myanmar stepped out mm. with, oh, first of all, that's what you're seeing on, on the screen right there. Yes. Um, she's just uh, holding up the flag of Nigeria, stained in blood, you know, basically trying to call the attention of the international community to what happened on the night of October 20, 2020. And moving on now to our next top trending. This one is something we've seen a lot of times mm -hmm. regarding, you know, a very popular Nigerian figure, not even Nigerian, globally, a very popular figure who is then, you know, been accused of, you know, so many things, either mm -hmm. of intellectual property theft, sexual mm -hmm. harassment, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And um, this time around, it's uh, it has to do with a uh, very beloved Nigerian writer, Shima Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Yes, go ahead. It is really very interesting when you find out that people uh, would just want to do uh, so many things just to get uh, some, uh, some taste of uh, fame or just to get attached to fame. Well, the story right now is that uh, she... Uh, got some sort of uh, <laughs> insult uh, over the social media for someone who she uh, appreciated took and she wings. took under her yes. wings. I know that, but she called it about two stories there. Uh, first of all, someone she uh, felt uh, uh, she could relate with uh, when it comes to feminism and all the other issues. So, so she came out and mm -hmm. she took uh, her, said it's something she doesn't really do ordinarily, but she trusted this person and the person uh, went back later and stabbed her, uh, you know, in the back as yes. it were, and even insulted her uh, uh, over social media and trust Nigerians and trust mm -hmm. the world, you know, to believe things, uh, you know, they see on social media, even when they haven't really gotten verification or get uh, gotten the other side of the story. Yeah, so Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, you know, has just gone on to say, um, first of all, to put that out there, um, Chimamanda put out a, a, a statement called violence saying mm -hmm. that, 
you know, she, this young writer, young Nigerian feminist, she decided to, you know, mentor this person, yes. you know, and the person took advantage of all that and is mm -hmm. now coming out to peddle falsehoods about her. And let me read an excerpt here from the, from the, from the, yeah, from, the from the, from the quote. Chima Manango Zadiche says, no, there isn't more to the story. It's a simple story. Mm -hmm. You get close to a famous person. You publicly insulted the famous person to aggrandize yourself. The famous person cuts you off. You sent emails and texts that you were ignored. And then you decided to go on social media to peddle falsehoods. Mm -hmm. It is obscene to tell the words that you refuse to kiss a ring when in fact there isn't any ring at all. So Chimamanda Ngozadiche is basically telling her that she's been hypocritical yes. and that, you know, she, she just was mediocre mm -hmm. and uh, tried to basically blackmail her. And, um, you know, it just went on and on to say that she tried to, this is someone she mentored, she's someone mm -hmm. she took special interest in during yeah. workshops, but the person, you know, tried to exploit all of that yes. and not the way that the writer, you know, painted it out to be. And, you know, we've seen many things like this. We've yes. seen many, many situations. For example, the issue of um, Tobore Om, Om I can't pronounce the last okay, name, the sorry. Name, I would, uh, Ovori, I think. Okay. Tobore Ovori and um, Moa Budo of Ebony okay. Life TV. Oh. So she's a journalist whom I know personally. And, uh, you know, when she reached out to me and eventually, you know, the, the media saying that she had written a book or she had gone on an investigation about sex trafficking mm. in Nigeria. And she published that for an, for a site called Zim Chronicles. And that um, Ebony Life TV basically just you know ripped off her story and did an, an, an adaptation of her investigation. Which is not actually true. You know, I, I really can't say. Mm. Because when you actually read the read the work and the movie, there are lots of similarities. No, but but, but they she say, came out to say that she gave her credit. She actually appreciated the fact that it was read, it was not originally done by her. That's more about She came out to tell the world that uh, she actually uh, gave us some sort of, uh, you know, uh, well, I say compensation, uh, you know, for using her work. So, you know, so most times people just come out and say half truths and you trust, uh, you know, social media and people mm -hmm. to just uh, feed on it without really getting all sides of the story. And uh, before you know it, uh, you'll be labeled as a uh, a murderer in, in uh, Chimamanda's case, and mm -hmm. of course, someone who, who doesn't support uh, people with differences as it is. So, to be honest, you know, like I mentioned, these stories we see it every day. Yes, we you do. Know. So, it, it now makes you want to really think about mentor mentee relationships. Mm. When you find people who are high and up there, people in places you want to be, and you're trying to approach them, you know, for that mentor mentee relationship, I'm very sure that at least every everybody has at least one story of rejection yes. or where yes. maybe the person you're trying to be, um, get closer to mm. basically just gives you the cold shoulder True. so when you consider things like this you can you can get a sense of just why or where that person is coming from. You know, some people just wouldn't want to get insulted at the end of the day and all sorts of lies are being peddled around the world about you. Now, for instance, uh, most people even would even claim to uh, that you are their mentors when they have not even met with you. They could just uh, sort of claim all sorts of falsehood just because uh, they admire, just want to get some sort of attachment based on your name, your face, mm -hmm. your popularity, mm -hmm. and they could just go the extra mile just to get you know to that Thing. What is it about fame? I don't know. People just want it, don't they? Mm, well, they do, but it's, it's really, really work hard, do your best, and then somehow you just might get famous. If someone wants to mentor you, that is fine. If someone says that you should uh, use my biography, it's fine. But if you're not given approval, then don't use it. Even if you, you went to use it and um, someone now called you a mentee of that particular person, and you mm -hmm. are not even coming out to say that you are not after you've used the person, uh, you know, in your own piece of work, it doesn't make sense to mm. me. Like she said, it is obscene. Indeed. So our next top trending, you know, makes me ask you this question. Mm. Um, if you had dual citizenship, Nigeria ah. being one of them, would you basically <laughs> abandon your Nigerian citizenship um, for another country? Or would you abandon another country for Nigeria? Now, this is a very important question because someone asked herself that question and gave very, very daring answers. And her name is Oninechi Zog. So she's a Nigerian football player. She's basically switched her allegiance yes, from she Switzerland, where she was born, and you know is a citizen to play for Nigeria. Mm. She's saying she wants to play for Nigeria. She wants to dedicate her time to the motherland, contribute to the development what of sports in Nigeria. Her? And I mean, that's that's a picture of her with her team. She's mm. on the far on the far right there, smiling to the you know, camera, clad in green, exactly. And, uh, a piece of white. You know, it is it is really very interesting. You know what with all that we have heard and uh, read about. 
about um, Nigeria and how Nigeria looks, uh, you know, in the face of things uh, in the uh, in the international in the Committee of Nations. Most people ordinarily would just want to dump your citizenship and gladly, you know, get out of the country and uh, maybe acquire visas and look for some sort of rest. There's even illegal migration by the thousands Aha, by daily, the day, and people even die over, um, you know, in such um, perilous uh, journeys. In this case, you have a. Uh, uh, a seat, you have a Swiss uh, citizenship and, uh -huh. uh, because you're born Nigerian. Ordinarily, uh, <laughs> most people would not want to and leave uh, you know, all the comfort uh, mm. and uh, the, the big things, in quotes, that come with uh, you know, living abroad and uh, being attached uh, you know, to those particular uh, you know, countries. Would you, Aneta? Uh, see, I, I would need to <laughs> ask myself that question, but I definitely know that if you wave a foreign passport mm. in the faces of many Nigerian youths, They'll gladly jump About 90% of them, this is just off the top of my head, there's no statistics <laughs> back in this, yeah. but just, you know, from what we know, yeah. you know, right on the streets, that lots of people would grab that opportunity to leave the country. Most times and you, you, can understand. Blame, you don't blame them because uh, we've been plagued with a whole lot uh, mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Is it insecurity? Is it uh, uh, use unemployment? Is it uh, people going to bed, uh, you know, without even eating? There's poverty in the land. There's there's hunger, there's a whole lot. And uh, most times these things are not really what you would really want to say that I am so, so Nigerian. I believe in the cause of Nigeria. I believe in the Nigerian dream, whatever that is, you know. Yes, yes, definitely. So most Nigerians want to jack back. But then but I'm still Nigerian. I believe in Nigeria. <laughs> are you sure you're not saving for your IELTS? Oh, wow. You have to answer that question. Oh, wow. So Onye Chizok, uh, you know, basically has picked a side mm. and it's that of her motherland. Also, another reason why Onye Chizok is trending mm. is because of her beauty. I mean, take a look at the pictures we, we've been showing on your screen. <sighs> She's she a is, of beauty. Exactly. She is one beautiful woman. Mm. So people have been saying, oh, you're coming to Nigeria. Are you Are single? You Are, you Are you married? Single? Do you have a man in your life? So mm. questions like that. You know, Nigerians just like to... Nigerians just like you know, to feel you, good. You, and you know us men, we always want to be attached to beautiful ladies. And uh, so you don't blame us when we see fine ladies. And uh, of course, uh, when there's no ring on the finger, you just, you know, tempted to ask, uh, are you single? Do I stand the chance? You know, all of us, all of this just come to mind. So you don't blame us. It's just a Nigerian thing. Not you just think Nigerian, so? It's no, a human no, thing. It's a human Everybody thing. Everybody so, wants good I mean, things. Who doesn't want to be attached to beauty? Who doesn't want a beautiful or beautiful ladies around them? Exactly. I uh, do. Justin actually. for the ladies oh, well you can say that again <laughs> all right let's take a break here and uh, we'll return with of the press where uh, mr ademola akimbola the publisher of the podium media is standing by to help us analyze the papers this morning